We've heard of people being haunted or possessed. But what about an inanimate object? Could that become haunted too? It may sound crazy, but there's been many cases of inanimate objects being haunted or cursed. Some of these hauntings have affected thousands of people, from a chair that causes the early demise of anyone who sits in it, to a Bulgarian phone number who curses anyone who gets it. Myrtle's Plantation Mirror Myrtle's Plantation is located in Louisiana, USA. It's said to be one of the most haunted places in the world. It was built over an Indian burial ground. Many slaves used to work at the plantation who passed away. Also, former occupants of this house took each other out. In one instance, a wife poisoned her husband. But the scariest part about this entire house is the cursed mirror. Inside the mirror is one of the many people who passed away at the plantation. This is Sarah Woodruff. It's said that if you look into the mirror, you can see the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and her two children. They were poisoned by their slave named Chloe. And it's said to this day they are trapped inside the mirror. If you go here, do not look into the mirror for too long. It said that Sarah and her children are trying to pull someone into the mirror to replace them. Locals also report an eerie feeling in every room they step into. And when walking around the house, you will experience sudden cold chills in certain rooms. Unlucky Mummy Amun-Ra was an ancient Egyptian princess. She lived around 1,500 years BC. When she passed away, she was put in an ornate wooden coffin, and an illustration of her was painted on the coffin lid. Years later, four rich, young Englishmen went to buy the coffin. They paid thousands for it and took it back to their hotel. A few hours later, one of the four men walked into the desert and never returned. The next day, one of the three remaining men was accidentally shot. The two remaining men returned, but when they got back, one of them found the bank which had all of his money had failed. The fourth man later had severe illness, lost his job, and then passed away. The coffin was later bought by a London businessman, but soon after, three of his family members were injured in a car accident, and his house also burnt down. Deciding it was cursed, he donated it to the British Museum. As the coffin was being unloaded from a truck in the museum courtyard, the truck reversed and ran someone over. One of the workmen who lifted it into the museum fell down the stairs and passed away. It was then put in the Egyptian room of the British Museum. Night watchmen reported hearing hammering and sobbing from the coffin. A private collector then bought the coffin. He was concerned, so he had an exorcism done on the coffin. But later on, his house burnt down. Many things were destroyed, but the coffin was totally intact. Eventually, an American archaeologist went to the UK and bought the coffin. In 1912, it was loaded onto a ship to go to New York. But that night, the ship, which had more than 1,500 people on it, sank. And the name of that ship was the HMS Titanic. Busby's Chair one day, a man named Thomas Busby had been arrested. The British man had taken many people's lives. He was going to be hanged for his crimes. Before this, though, he requested to have his favorite meal at his local pub. When he finished his meal, he stood up and said, May sudden doom come to anyone who sits in this chair. Since then, 63 people who dared to sit in the chair met a terrible demise. During World War II, airmen would challenge each other to sit in the chair, and every single one that did was shot down the next day. One man fell into a giant hole a day after sitting in the chair, and one cleaning lady sat in it only to have a heart failure instantly. Eventually, the owner of the pub the chair was in donated it to a museum, and today it sits two meters above the ground to prevent anyone else from sitting in it ever. The Hands Resist Him the Hands Resist Him is a painting by Bill Stoneman. It is said to be one of the most haunted pieces of art ever produced. The owners of the painting claim that the characters in the picture move or disappear during the night. The painting shows a young boy with a large head. His eyes seem to be totally black, like they're staring into your soul. There's also a very eerie doll he's standing next to, and in the window behind him appears to be many hands. It's said that when children see this, they run away as they feel the hands reaching out towards them. The painting even affects inanimate objects. For example, some printers are not able to print this picture. When the artist found out his painting may be haunted, he was surprised. He later realized that two friends who had reviewed the painting passed away in the same year. Letter the Gypsy Doll 
One day, a Romanian man handcrafted a doll for his son, Letta. Sadly though, one day as Letta was playing with his doll, he fell into a lake and drowned. From then on, it said his spirit got trapped inside the doll. Letta's father decided to give the doll to the son of one of his co-workers. But the child claimed that the doll talked to him, while other owners reported that holding the doll causes an immense feeling of grief. It's also said to make people burst into tears with seemingly no reason whatsoever. Bulgarian Phone Number It may seem plausible for an inanimate object to become haunted in some way, but how would something as abstract as a phone number be cursed? Well, you likely haven't heard of the Bulgarian phone number 359-888-888. This phone number was in use for 10 years, but is now permanently closed. The reason why the phone number was deactivated is because it's believed to be cursed. All three of the people who had this phone number passed away. Each time this happened shortly after the number was registered in their name. The first owner had a heart failure while the other two were shot down with no motive. While the other two were shot down with seemingly no motive. To make things even stranger, the three people who had this phone number were rich businessmen and CEOs. This includes Vladimir Grashnov and Konstantin Dishliev. Annabelle Doll You've likely seen the movies of Annabelle. You've likely seen at least one movie featuring the Annabelle doll. But did you know that the doll is a real life haunted object? It dates back to 1970 when a mom bought it for her daughter from an antique shop. Soon the family noticed strange things happening in their house. Investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren found that the doll possesses the spirit of Annabelle Higgins. This was a seven year old girl who was taken out in a brutal way. The Annabelle doll can be found today at the Occult Museum in Connecticut, USA. The warning sign below her reads, Warning, positively do not open. The Crying Boy The Crying Boy was a painting by the artist Giovanni Bregolin. It was mass produced and was popular in many homes in the UK. But that's when people noticed a trend. Almost every house who bought this painting suddenly caught fire. The scary part was, no matter how bad these fires were, the painting remained totally intact every time. Nowadays, the painting is not in fashion, and also many people know it to be haunted, so they don't have it. But there's been no explanation as to why this painting caused all those fires to this day. Baker's Wedding Dress Inside the Baker Mansion in Altoona, USA is the wedding dress of Anna Baker. Anna ran away from her father to marry an iron worker, but her father brought her back home and locked her in her room. It was said she was never allowed out and passed on inside the room. After this, members of the Baker family reported seeing Anna's wedding dress all over the house in different places. Today, visitors of the Baker Mansion report seeing her spirit walking around the house at night. The Anguished Man one day, Sean Robinson inherited a painting from his grandmother named The Anguished Man. He hung it up on a wall, but soon his family began experiencing paranormal events. Doors would randomly slam shut and they would hear the sound of screams at night. They did some research and found that the man who painted The Anguished Man took his life shortly after painting it. They also found that he mixed his own blood into the paint while he was painting it. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the scariest haunted object in this video. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.